Yeah, this is MXKDI. I have another motherboard. It's a Dell model G33M02. This is socket 775. That supports Intel Core 2 uh, Duo, dual core CPUs, processor. Uh, here's a uh, four memory DDR2 slots right here. 24 pin for the power. Here's a floppy ID, kind of a floppy header right here. Connector. Here's a front panel header right there. USB header 2.0 right here, another USB header right here. So it's one, two, three, US, three USB headers right here, 2.0. Here's the audio header right there. PCI Express times 16 slot, PCI Express times one, two, 32 PCI slots right there. Uh, battery socket right there. Four serial ATA connectors right there. Here's a clear CMOS jumper right there, clear password jumper right there. Okay, well here's a system 3 pin system fan head connector right here, the header. Here's another CPU fan header right here, the 4 pin right there. North bridge, south bridge, it's a G33 chipset. Uh, audio chipset right there, Realtek, this is Intel LAN chipset right there. Back a VGA port right there, 4 USB connectors, ports right there, LAN port right there, audio connectors right there. Here's a four pin for the power. So yeah, that's gonna be it guys. Socket 775 installed in a Dell desktop. Come on, desktop. And uh, it's uh, this motherboard will not support quad core. It's a little bit different. So there's a different model. They have G33M03. That does support, this is 02, so it doesn't support. It's a micro ATX motherboard. And uh, it does support Windows 7. You can do Linux on it. You could probably install Windows 10 on it, but you just have to get a different video card installed through PCI Express Time 16 slot so it support Windows 10. So, you yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.